I love Kickstarter. Have you ever noticed I love Kickstarter? I also love the Raspberry Pi. I love 3D printing. I love a lot of stuff. Time for me to give you the tech news of the week. My latest Kickstarter discovery belongs to the name Wigwag, based in Austin, that's here, who invented an intelligent environment device that may take you back to the Jetsons, except it won't dress or cook for you. Their campaign far exceeded the goal of 50 Gs and made 212. This Internet of Things concept is rapidly growing, especially in the case of making your home smart and responsive. This is not a very easy thing to do, having gadgets communicate easily with one another. With Wigwag, all gadgets speak the same language and you control what they do, how and when they do it. Example, you're in bed, you're feeling super chilly and don't feel like going downstairs. Tell your smartphone you're uncomfortable and your AC responds to your request. Snap. This when happens then do rule is how Wigwag responds and reacts to your request. And best of all, the demands are essentially endless because Wigwag uses a standard programming language which allows other software enthusiasts to create any apps they desire. There is no need for complicated programming here. Thankfully, the system is already compatible with many popular devices like outlets or light bulbs. Very important other aspect, simple third-party adapters are happily supported for your own personal needs as well. So yes, if you want to know if your flowers are thirsty and it's time for watering, you can do that. As a three-part system, it uses sensor blocks, which you put around your home for monitoring anything from motion, sound, or temperature. The relay part connects the sensor blocks to the internet, so you can easily control them via smartphone or computer. Finally, a cloud service and app package allows links to Dropbox or Twitter. For $139 starting price and shipping in November, please visit the link below in my video description to view all the package options. Speaking of the Internet of Things, welcome to the downside. Downside? Oh yeah. This is serious. The serious implications regarding security. I wonder if all of you already heard about this, but just recently a baby monitor was hacked by some creep yelling obscenities to the infant and actually moving the camera around as well. Jerk. Well, what a real life example of the deeper problems of the Internet of Things industry. Do you really want all your things on the Internet? Let me know how you feel about this. So many things are hackable. So many tangs. 3D printing enthusiasts like myself will find this one great. 3D Systems brand new product Cubify Sculpt is basically a powerful virtual clay sculpting tool that takes complex 3D design into a simple and oh so intuitive experience like Photoshop for 3D printing. It sets other programs like ZBrush, ZBrush ain't cheap by the way, or Blender which is actually free, apart due to price and my favorite aspect of not having such a steep learning curve as many other programs do. People like me don't want to have to learn the most difficult software just to design something I want. So instead of what a lot of us do with our MakerBot, going to thingiverse.com and finding the closest design to something we want, we can create our own anything. As you can see here, the team at 3D Systems took a model of a Sphinx and put their CEO's head on it. I want to do that with one of my coworkers here. Sculpt is the perfect name for this because you are basically given a virtual lump of clay to play with. And because of the many tools provided, you can remove material, smooth, elongate, blend at your own will. Finally, you can import a 3D file and play with it in any way you desire. When you're done, either print it yourself or send it to the company to have it printed with one of their industrial devices. Sculpt is 129 bucks, but there is a free 14 day trial. Right now for Windows only, they are working on a Mac version. Don't you think this is great for people who want a 3D play but don't know where to begin? Fairy Wren. That's a bird. Well, it's also another Kickstarter campaign to make the mini ITX for the Raz Pi. Fairy Wren has been developed to ease the frustration with all the components that aren't included with your Raspberry Pi. 
As you know, for a fully functioning system, you need to find 5V micro USB power supply, SD card, keyboard, mouse, monitor, network connection. Don't forget the possible USB hub, external hard drive, and uh, for most of us who use the Pi on a regular basis, I have great news for you because this product is the perfect case to keep all the components in and out of your face. What was weird about that is I totally didn't even mean to rhyme. The functional prototype of the motherboard you see here. XB socket is built in, Arduino Uno built in, Arduino mounting holes, purdy acrylic case. It's also small, 17 by 17 centimeters, ATX 24 pin power socket, programmable power system, and all these other features. So, made from Geekru from Australia and successfully outdid their pledge, you can check out another link in the video description below to go directly to their Kickstarter page. That's it, Internet. As always, I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe if this video was enjoyable, informative, goofy, whatever the reason. It's been a pleasure, and I will see you in a week.